Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this flower garden stitch. Now this pattern uses a combination of different kinds of stitches including your single crochet, uh, a double crochet v-stitch as well as a bobble stitch which forms the top of your flower. And uh, by using these three stitches together you get this very pretty flower design. Today I'm going to be working with three colors of Karen Simply Soft and you of course can use any yarn uh, that you choose as well as uh, as many colors as you would like. With this yarn I'm also going to be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook. So grab a hook and some yarn and we're going to learn how to crochet this beautiful flower garden stitch. So to begin our flower garden stitch, I'm going to start with my color A. Now this is the Robin's Egg color by uh, Yarnspirations and the Karen Simply Soft. And you're going to start by making a foundation chain with a multiple of three stitches. So today for my tutorial, I'm going to do a total of 21 stitches. And 21. Once you have your multiple of three stitches with your color A you're going to start by working one single crochet into the second chain from your hook so one two one single crochet into that second chain from your hook and into each stitch all the way across. So single crochet starting in the second chain from your hook and in each stitch all the way across. At the end of your first row you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row you are going to chain one once again and repeat. Now if in your design you wanted to have only one row or two rows of single crochet you can. Um, I've just been doing the three because it gives sort of a nice foundation but uh, again you can have as many rows of, of single crochet stitches as you would like. So at the end of that row, chain one, turn your work. If you would like, work one more row of single crochet stitches. When you come to the end of this third row, you're going to want to change to your color B and I will show you how to do that. up to my final stitch. Now when you come to your final stitch and you want to change to your color B, you're going to start working that stitch as you normally would in your color A. So I'm in my robin's egg still. Insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to drop your yarn and it's up to you whether you would like to fasten off at this point and weave it in or carry your yarn up the side. It's really up to you. So you're going to drop that color A you're going to pick up your color B, which mine is this sage green in Karen Simply Soft, and you're going to place it on your hook, yarn over, and pull through. 
and then you're ready to go with your next color. Now this works too if you've run out of yarn in the middle of a ball uh, or at the end of a ball and you want to add some new yarn or uh, works for any color change at all. It's just a handy way to switch colors seamlessly. So once you have your color B, you're ready to start row four. With your color B, you're going to chain four and turn your work. Your chain four is going to count as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. You're then going to skip two single crochets. So skip that first stitch and skip the next stitch and you're going to work a V stitch in the next. To work your V stitch, you're going to work a double crochet into that stitch, chain one, and work one more double crochet stitch into that same stitch. And that is your V stitch. You're then going to skip two stitches, one, two, and work another V stitch in the next stitch. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip two stitches and work a V stitch in the next stitch. Skip two stitches and work a V stitch in the next stitch. Skip two stitches, V stitch all the way across. When you come to your final two stitches, you're going to chain one and work one double crochet into that final stitch. So chain one, skip one, and double crochet. At the top of that double crochet, you're going to want to switch to your next color. So I'll back up here and just show you. You want to switch to your color C. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch, yarn over and drop a loop all in color A, yarn over and draw through two loops. You're going, oh, sorry, that's your color B. You're then going to drop your color B, pick up your color A, place it on your hook, and pull through. And just to keep things simple, I'm going to fasten these off and I'll weave in my ends later. And then you're all set to go with your color C. For uh, your next row, or row five, with your color C, and this color C is a Victorian rose color in the Karen Simply Soft, you're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain stitch. You're going to turn your work. You're then going to work one bobble stitch into the center of your V stitch. So you're going to skip that first stitch, skip your chain one space, skip the first double crochet there in that V stitch and into that chain space through the center of your V-stitch, you're going to work a bobble stitch. To work your bobble stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one space, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. You're going to do that uh, three more times. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, one more time, and then you'll have five loops on your hook. Once you have five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops. Next, you are going to chain two, and you're then going to work a bobble stitch in the center of your next V. So the exact same way. Once 
once you have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five, your bobble stitch is made, and chain two. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. After you've worked your final bobble stitch, you're going to chain one and you're going to work a double crochet into uh, the third chain of that chain four. So skip one chain and then into the third chain of your chain four, you're going to work one double crochet. At the top of this double crochet, you're going to want to change back to your color A, which is my robin's egg. You can then chain one and turn your work. We're now going to want to work a few rows of single crochet stitches. So we're going to start by working a single crochet into that first stitch, and then a single crochet into the next chain space, single crochet into the top of the next bobble, and then two single crochet stitches into your chain two space. You're going to continue all the way across, single crochet into your bobble, and then two single crochets into the chain two space. Continue that all the way across. When you come to that chain four, you're going to single crochet into that chain four space and then work one final single crochet into the third chain of that chain four. You're then going to chain one and turn your work and you can continue working as many rows of single crochet stitches as you would like before uh, starting to repeat with your V-stitches and your bobble stitches. And that's all there is to working this flower garden stitch. So thank you so much for joining me today for this free tutorial. Be sure to check out some of the other videos there and uh, of course subscribe to this channel. It's updated weekly. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.